equilibrium constant in terms of concentration that is called Kc. So we can write Kc for a reaction. Hydrogen gas combines with iodine gas gives hydrogen iodide. So Kc for this reaction is equal to products Hi the whole square divided by reactants concentration of hydrogen into concentration of iodine. This is the Kc for the reaction. So when we reverse this reaction that is 2Hi gives that is a reversible sorry H2 gas plus I2. And what is its Kc? So you can find if we reverse the reaction then the equilibrium constant will become inverse. That is the reverse reaction equilibrium constant K dash C will be equal to 1 by Kc. Or if we multiply this reaction with a number for example, if we multiply this reaction with N, N mole of H2 plus N mole of I2 gives 2N mole of HI. Then that reaction's equilibrium constant K double dash C will be equal to Kc raised to N. So this is the equilibrium constant for a multiple of a reaction. That is if we multiply a particular reaction with a number, that equilibrium, new equilibrium constant will be Kc raised to n, where n is that number which is used for multiplying this equation. So we here we write the equilibrium constant in terms of concentration. So consider reactions which involves only gaseous reactants and products. That is equilibrium constant for gaseous reactants and products that is represented by the letter Kp that is the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. So consider a reaction, general reaction we can consider A moles of A plus B moles of B gives C moles of C plus D moles of D all are in gaseous state. So initially we write the equilibrium constant for this reaction in terms of Kc that we know that Kc equal to concentration of C raised to C into concentration of D raised to D divided by concentration of A raised to A in the concentration of B raised to B. This is the equilibrium constant in terms of concentration. But according to ideal gas equation, we know the ideal gas equation PV is equal to NRP. This is the ideal gas equation. Where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles, R universal gas constant and T temperature. V pressure, V volume, N number of moles, R universal gas constant, T temperature. Then pressure will be equal to N by V into RT. But we know that the number of moles per volume is called concentration. So this equation will become P is equal to C into RT where C is called concentration that is in mole per litre. So pressure is equal to C into heart. By using this equation we will express Kp from this equation. Once again I will say for ideal gas equation P V is equal to NRT, P is equal to N by V into RT then we can replace the N by V is equal by C, where C is called a concentration. So Kp is equal to, that is equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. Kp is equal to 
products what are the products here c and d partial pressure of c raised to c here we are using the usual brackets into partial pressure of d raised to d divided by partial pressure of a raised to a into partial pressure of b raised to b partial pressure is the pressure of an individual gas among a mixture of gas so this is kp kp is equal to partial pressure of c raised to c into partial pressure of d raised to d divided by partial pressure of a raised to a into partial pressure of b raised to b so we can relate kp and kc how can we relate the kp and let us find out so kp is equal to this so partial pressure is equal to from ideal gas equation we derived that p is equal to c into rt so pressure of a is equal to uh, c of a into rt that is concentration of a into rt then pressure of b is equal to concentration of b into rt and so on. so we can apply that to this equation kp is equal to kp is equal to partial pressure of c raised to c into partial pressure of d raised to d divided by partial pressure of a raised to a into partial pressure of b raised to b instead of pc we can give concentration of c into rt c into rt the whole raised to c partial pressure of d is equal to yes concentration of d into rt the whole raised to d then partial pressure of a is equal to concentration of a into rt the whole raised to a then partial pressure of b concentration of b into rt the whole raised to b then we will sort out this equation then we will get kp is equal to c b a we will write the concentration tends first c raised to c into concentration of d raised to d divided by concentration of a raised to a into concentration of b raised to b into rt here rt raised to c and rt raised to d a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n so we can write rt raised to c plus d and here also rt raised to a plus b so we'll get kp is equal to what is this term that is kc kc into rt raised to c plus d minus a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n so a plus b or we can write kp is equal to kc into rt raised to delta n the delta n is the change in number of moles during a reaction that is the number of gaseous molecules in product side minus number of gaseous molecules in reactant side so this is the relation between kp and kc for a reaction which involves gaseous reactants and product where kp is the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure kc is the equilibrium terms in constant in terms of concentration r is universal gas constant and its value is 0.0831 liter atmosphere mole per kelvin these are the units of other uh, volume pressure uh, temperature and t is the temperature and uh, the unit of temperature must be in kelvin 
So this is a relation between Kp and Kc for a reaction which involves gaseous reactants and products. For some reactions, for example, H2 plus I2 giving 2H. What is delta N? Delta N is number of molecules in product side polar in gaseous state. Number of gaseous molecules in product side minus number of reactants molecules in number of gaseous molecules in reactant side. Here only 2. So 2 minus 1 plus 1. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Then what is the relation between Kp and Kc for this reaction? You can write Kp is equal to Kc into Rt raised to delta n. The value of delta n is 0. So any number raised to 0, the value is equal to 1. So in this case, Kp will be equal to Kc. So this is the relation between Kp and Kc for gaseous reactants and products. Next we will consider heterogeneous reactions. That means the reactants and products are in different physical state. You know the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous. Homogeneous reactions are reactions which involves all the reactants and products are in same physical state. For example, uh, N2 gas plus 3H2 gas gives 2NH3 gas. This is an example for homogeneous equation because all are in same physical state. Whether it may be in liquid or in gaseous state or in solid state, but all are in similar physical state. That type of reactions are called the homogeneous physical, homogeneous chemical reaction. Sorry. Then another example, ester hydrolysis. For example, you consider methyl uh, ethanoate. That is in aqueous state. That is dissolved state, dissolved in water. When it is hydrolyzed, we are using water, this is also in liquid state, will give, will get CH3COOH as set in aqueous state plus CH3OH alcohol in aqueous state. So this is also an example for homogeneous chemical reaction. The heterogeneous chemical reaction will look how we will write the Kp and Kc for heterogeneous reaction. Heterogeneous reaction means the reactants and products may be in different physical states. A very good example for a reversible reaction is decomposition of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is a solid. When it is on thermal decomposition, we get calcium oxide. That to be in solid state plus carbon dioxide. In this case, here calcium carbonate and calcium oxide are in solid state, but carbon dioxide is in gaseous state. So when we write Kc, we will write like this concentration of product by concentration of reactant. So calcium oxide into Carbon dioxide divided by calcium carbonate. But we know that the concentration of solids or concentration of liquids will not be changed during a reaction. That so we are taking concentration of liquids and concentration of solid as a constant when we write Kp and uh, Case. So the Kc will become, this is, a, this is a constant, we are giving value 1, this is also a constant, we are giving value 1. So Kc will depend only on the concentration of the 
this react and that is CO2. So what will be KP? KP depends only on gaseous reactant. So KP will be equal to partial pressure of CO2. So this is the equilibrium reaction for KP and KC.